This is what happens when you put sash codes through the roof on your rubber membrane on your camper. This is a 95 Prowler 24C by Fleetwood. It's bubbling up. This product is cured. But as you can see, the membrane on my camper is severely wrinkled and bunched up in places. And this little spot right here was leaking. I had to apply more. See? You can see that membrane is bubbled up. It's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be nice and smooth. And this is the product that I applied to my camper. Seals everything that goes through the roof, it says. Date code on the lid. This is the 27th day of the sixth month of 2018. I believe is what that date code means. So that means this uh, can was produced in 2018. Sticks to wet surfaces. And if you look real close, read the instructions. And go down. And I spoke with the company. They said directions for use. Step two: close ventilation. Do 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 do. This way, twelve hours. And then their can, their label that they sent, that they told me has an asterisk right there. My can does not have an asterisk. The asterisk for the date code on this label says to test on EPDM surfaces. This can does not have that on here anywhere. So what I show, what I have a, an attachment that I'm going to add to this video, and it uh, it says it's an estimate that's going to cost me like fifty three hundred sixty four dollars and twenty cents, something like that, to replace the roof on my camper. And Sashko initially said that they were responsible because. The label that I bought does not say to test first. Their new labels say to test first, but my can doesn't have that on there, so they were responsible. So after talking with them extensively, back and forth, emails, phone calls, etc., they said um, that they're only going to give me $3,800 to have my roof fixed. That's why I'm doing this video, is to prove that I'm legit, this is my can, this is my problem, and technically, it should be Sashko's problem. So, I'm going to peel the label off and see if there's anything underneath the label um, that says anything on it otherwise okay so let's see if I can peel this label off I'm going to look for the seam and try to cut it at the seam somewhere that there's no print So here's the label. 
There's obviously nothing on the label. I'm gonna have to tear this off. And you know what? This tells me, right here, looking at this, that this label was applied to the can before the can was finished. You apply it to the can, and then this handle has to be put in. There is no, there is no magic way to get this paper on this can with this handle in the way. This can was printed before it was finished. So for whatever reason they told me that the cans are printed after the product line goes out. So I'm going to continue peeling this off. Nothing on the back of the paper. There's that back there. There's the whole label through the roof. Do not use this on your camper. Here's the can. Looking for anything on it that might be date code on the can. I don't really see anything on it. So let's check out the bottom. So they seem to think that somehow my can and my lid label got switched somehow they told me that the label that label right there was from like 2014 or 15 that label was so old they could not find it in their archives but the date code on the lid here is from 2018 We'll see where this takes us. This is my estimate for the camper to have the roof replaced.